So it was definitely a case of what might have been. In this video, I look back at the career of Jack Wilshire. Hello, I'm Richard and welcome back to my channel over and over and over again which features everything to do with Arsenal. And in this video I just want to look back on the career of Jack Wilshere of course who was released by West Ham on transfer deadline day. Um, just look back on his career really and see where it all uh, went wrong for him. Um, just before I do that I just want to make sure that you are all subscribing to my channel. Um, if you like what I'm doing please hit the subscribe button down below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up as well because it really does help it to get noticed on YouTube. And if you've got any comments at all about Jack Wilshere about his career at Arsenal or anything else to do with a club please drop a comment in the box below because I always do like to hear what you guys um, have to say about things. So Jack Wilshire then he was born on the 1st of January 1992 in Stevenage. Um, he captained his team at the Priory School to County Cup and District Cup success and that was from year 7 to year 10. Um, although he was a boyhood West Ham fan um, he said his hero was uh, Paolo Di Canio, but he joined the Arsenal Academy in October 2001, aged just nine years old, um, and he had had a short spell before that at the Luton Town Youth Programme, of course his local club. Um, age 15, he was named captain of the Arsenal under-16s, and he also started playing for the under-18s as well. In his first season in the under-18s, he made 18 appearances and scored 13 goals, and he helped Arsenal win the Academy Group A title as well that same year. Um, and in February 2008, he made his debut for the Arsenal Reserves, aged just 16 he was at the time, um, and that was a game against Reading where he scored for Arsenal, goal in a 1-1 draw. He then played in Arsenal's, uh, played a key role actually when Arsenal won the Youth Cup in 2009, scoring in the semi-final and also in the first leg of the final against Liverpool as Arsenal won the trophy. Um, then for the start of the 2008-2009 season, manager Arsene Wenger gave Jack Wilshere the number 19 shirt. Um, as he was put into the first team squad and he made his debut away at Blackburn in September 2008 and he became Arsenal's youngest ever league de deputant aged 16 years and 256 days and in just 10 days after that he scored his first goal for the club at the Emirates in a 6-0 victory in the League Cup against Sheffield United. Um, in January 2010, um, he joined Bolton on loan um, until the end of that season, uh, where he played 14 games for Bolton and scored one goal, which was against Manchester City, which was actually his first ever goal um, in the Premier League. Now, Bolton did want to keep him after that spell, but he returned to Arsenal for the start of the 2010-2011 season, and that was when he really, that was his breakthrough season where he made 49 appearances for Arsenal that season across all competitions, scoring two goals. Um, and of course, that was also the season when he had that fantastic performance against Barcelona at the Emirates. He also made his England debut in August 2010, which was in a friendly against Hungary. Um, he was in and out of the England squad over the next few years, and in the end, his England career ended with 34 caps he got. He scored two goals as well. They were both in a game against Slovenia, which was in 2015. Um, in the summer of, um, of 2011, in the Emirates Cup, uh, Wilshire suffered a stress fracture to his ankle um, in a game against New York Red Bulls at the Emirates um, and unfortunately due to complications with the recovery he actually didn't play again for 17 months. He missed the whole of the 2011-2012 season. Um, he made his comeback in um, November 2012 which was a game against Queen's Park Rangers. Uh, it was his first game for 17 months. He actually won man of the match. Um, he did start uh, getting a regular place in the team again after that. Um, he started the 2013-2014 season playing in a slightly unfamiliar left-sided left, left -sided midfield um, position. Um, and of course in October 2013, of course, that was the game when he scored that famous goal against Norwich, uh, which of course won the match of the day goal of the season. Um, fantastic goal that was as well, wasn't it? Um, he got injured again towards the end of that season, so he only made the bench for the 2014 FA Cup final against Hull City, but he did come on in that game in extra time um, as Arsenal came back from 2-0 down to beat Hull 3-2 and he won his first trophy with the, the club. Um, he started the following 2014-2015 season, actually in really good form. Um, there was a great game he had against Manchester City at the Emirates, if you remember when he scored a goal and set up the other one for um, Alexis Sanchez. Um, but it wasn't long before he got injured again, an ankle ligament injury against Manchester United in November 2014. 
um, and he, he didn't play much again for the rest of that season. He did come back towards the end, and for the second season running, he actually won match of the day's goal of the season. It was a great goal against West Bromwich Albion at the Emirates in May 2015, um, and he did come on again as a substitute in the 2015 FA Cup final um, when we beat Aston Villa 4-0, of course. Um, but uh, at the start of the following season, August 2015, in pre-season, um, he suffered a broken fibula um, and he was out for 10 months, missing a lot of that season as well. Um, he, did, he did come back towards, towards the end of the 2015-2016 um, season, but um, at the start of the 2016-2017 season, he was sent out on loan to Bournemouth to start getting regular games again. Um, he had an OK season at Bournemouth, actually, um, but then in April 2017, again, he suffered a fractured fibula in a match against Tottenham, um, and that brought that loan spell to an end. Um, he did get back into the Arsenal side in the start of the 2017-2018 season, of course, Arsene Wenger's last season at the club. Um, he did set up a goal for Aaron Ramsey actually at Everton in the Premier League as well. Um, but at the end of that season, at the end of 2017-2018, uh, uh, he did leave Arsenal after t 10 years after he'd made his first team debut. Um, he'd, only, he'd only actually made in those 10 years 197 appearances and scored just 14 goals. Injuries obviously ruined what should have been a fantastic Arsenal career. So in 2018, summer 2018, he moved on to West Ham, uh, where he's been ever since, until of course on transfer deadline day, um, he had his uh, contract terminated by West Ham by mutual consent, having made just 19 appearances in two years for West Ham. So um, now he's come a full circle, really. He's back available again. He's not got a club at the moment. Um, and it's, it's a de debate whether or not he'll ever hit the heights his career once promised. In that game against Barcelona, he was quite magnificent, wasn't he? Um, and at that time, you would have put your mortgage on him going on to be one of the greatest players in, in the club's history and having a great career for England. But I say it was injuries in the end. His glass ankles got the better of him, really. Um, and now he finds himself in a position where um, he's looking for a club. Uh, just at just 28 years old, which is uh, which is a real shame, isn't it? Um, for what who was such a great player. So let's hope he can find himself a, a new club and resurrect his career. He's still got a lot to offer. I think if he can stay fit, he could certainly do a job in the Premier League. Um, and you never know, he might end up um, coming back to Arsenal at some point, um, you know, to finish his career. Maybe um, I'm sure he would, he would love that as well. So, but that's just a little video there on on Jack Wilshere. Of course, who unfortunately is had his contract terminated at West Ham uh, on transfer deadline day. Um, let me know what you think about Jack's career at Arsenal. Um, what could he have been, you know, if it wasn't for those injuries? It's such a such a shame. Um, but please put your comments in the box. If you like my channel, if you like what I'm doing, please um, click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well because that does really help to get it noticed um, on YouTube as well. Um, stay tuned to the channel as well because tomorrow night I've got my third Positive Arsenal podcast. Lots of things to talk about, the transfer window, um, uh, start to the season, some strange results in the Premier League and of course looking ahead to the game against Manchester City coming up after the international break as well and of course the impact that Thomas Partey is going to have now um, as our new signing, what impact he's going to have um, with us for the rest of this season um, and obviously beyond that as well. So that's it for today, hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned to the channel, lots of stuff coming up. Um, and of course in the meantime, as always, come on you gunners!